VIP my squad, drop off all the game. VIP the lane, VIP the chain. VIP my squad, drop off all the game. VIP the lane, VIP the chain. Yeah, all the other little bit of bitch. Today is going to be a good day. Starting off a new vlog. Um, this one's going to be short as well. I have another video dropping sometime this week about PUBG car cares chemicals like I promised I would make. So I'm going to be making another car wash, but I was going to do it today, but it's raining tomorrow apparently, which is really rare out here. <coughs> so today's an important day because I'm finally getting retuned and I, got, I bought a new cooler intake. Much bigger one. I just got the tune today. So right now I'm heading over to my friend's house to get it installed, retuning the whole car. And basically, basically going on the 85 as well. Now people are asking me if I upgraded my injectors. You don't need to upgrade injectors if you have a stock manifold. Now, sorry, it's pretty dark. I, I have a stock manifold, don't plan on upgrading it just yet because I want a Shelby one or a 2018 GT manifold. So right now the stock injectors will be fine. But obviously in like four months, I am gonna buy bigger injectors so I don't have to like worry about it. I mean, I think it's going to happen. I have a lot of friends running 85 on stock injectors, so I'll be fine. He's doing it. So I'll pick up the vlog once we get to his house and we're retuning the whole car. Basically, basically explain it. And the reason I went back with my same tuner, Lund Racing, is because a lot of people in the Mustang scene use it. And it's one of my favorite ones. And you can't go wrong with Lund Racing. So I'll pick up the vlog in a bit. For everyone asking, that is a Lund Racing N-Gage tune. Now, that's what I'm going to get retuned with. And speaking of that, um, my car was actually down for like a day because of a little fuse box, that, a little fuse in the fuse box went out. And my power steering, like it caused my power steering like to leave completely. Like the car was weird and I got checked engine light. I took that to Ford, got the new fuse repaired with the new one. And now the car's back to normal and line. It's kind of weird how a little thing can cause that much problems to a car. But that's enough about that. Time to go get this intake installed and then get retuned finally. Now this is what I mean. Like it says it's going to rain. The sky looks amazing. The view as always looks so beautiful. That's why I probably didn't, this is why I'm not making the car wash video today because of the sky and everything. But look at the little FRS. So hopefully Thursday does not raining so I can detail the whole car and approach car care and show you guys and then I'll be making another one on California Wax. This video is going to be short, not too long, just explaining the little details I'm doing to my car. So we're almost at my friend's house. Just got to my friend's house, aka Crazy50. Just waiting for him to come downstairs to open the garage so we can start doing everything. And I am honestly looking forward to going on E85 and retuning the whole car to see how much faster it's gonna be. That's crank, by the way, not wheel, because wheel I'm probably making like 440 right now. Uh, one of my friends said he made 460, 470 with E85 with his bolt-ons. And my bolt-ons are a little bit bigger than his, so I am gonna get a dyno eventually, just not right now because I spent a lot of money this last month. And I'm going to SEMA, I don't know if I explained, I'm going to SEMA this year. Um, and I really, I got some good tickets and I get to do a lot of cool stuff and it's gonna be like really good content for YouTube. So, that'll be cool. So right now, we're getting ready to work on the intake. He's already starting on it. So I'm gonna get this set up and then we're gonna get going. Pull out your other one. The Pull it up? It's not set up, is it? Oh, uh, no. No. Did yours come like this? Look at that. Oh, I hate that. One thing with this one that I saw is that um, it doesn't have a heat shield. Mm -mm. Like, that's pretty much the heat shield on it. She instructions. I told this guy that goes to my, my gym yeah. that I bought the CNL colder intake, the race uh -huh. one. Uh -huh. Wait, why did it say 2015? Doesn't matter. I don't have this anymore. What? 
This big thing, the sound tube. Oh, I want to take it off. It's hard. Actually, I just ripped mine. <laughs> Legit, just ripped. What the fuck? Really? It's like, oh, like. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, that's it. That mass airflow. Dude, you need throttle body cleaner. What, it's bad? Look. It's black. It's not that bad. You can't clean it with regular stuff? No, they sell throttle body cleaner though. That cleans it up. I heard that BBK is, it makes a difference. Is that true? Not really. No? I'm gonna buy one. See that thing from Fast and Furious that opens up on Vin Diesel's car? <laughs> it is on. I think so. Which tube is bigger? This. this guy says I need that adapter for my intake. What adapter? I have no idea, he just says that. I feel like telling him not letting it go in pieces lock all out. Okay. That one's done. Is it yeah. That's fine. I want to see how the race tune is for Lund. Honestly, I think that will kick out. I think it will, because but that's why they want to make sure you run test at 85 on it. it, it that's or reasonable. Don't blow anything up or. Because I'm pretty sure that the other. The pro chargers or super chargers, they, they go straight down, huh? They go right there. They go right here. That's gonna leave me. They go right here, they remove so much stuff. I want one so bad. It's my dream to have a pro charger. I, I want the Vortec. Vortec? Yeah, Vor Vortec or Kenny Bell. Well, people like Vortec. Can you hold it? it? Yeah, it's very looby. Yeah, I know, this is disgusting. <laughs> What are you going with Pro Charger, huh? Pro the new one? The 3.2? I don't even know which one it is. No? You're just buying it? I'm getting a full kit. The full the kit's like 7... Stage 2, stage air cooler and everything. Yeah. That's the one I wanted, the Stage 2. And it makes like 700 apparently? Yeah. Yeah. It's so. capable. We've even done 1,000 wow. with supporting mods. And we already have headers and everything. If I want to run E85 on the Pro Charger though, I'm going to do a complete fuel system change. Oh, Not just rely on the injectors. Hey, what is that, Freddy? What? Seems pretty good on. It's not even tightened down for me. Oh, okay, I was like, shit. It looks kind of weird, too. <laughs> Let's tighten this clamp down. Oh, man, this shit feels weird. <laughs> That's why I, I told Jackie, like, fuck off, talk about it. She was like, what? <laughs> Mostly car drive. I think that's it. The headers smell bad when you open the box, huh? No. No? I smell like cheese when I opened it. Alright, 
That's it. Intake is done. Shout out to Crazy50 for finishing it for me. And it is the C and L racer intake. Not time to tune. So we are back home. Um, this was a short video, like I said, just showing you guys the plans for the car and what I'm doing to it. I was gonna do a little pull, but um, I live in a place where neighbors get butt hurt really easily, so that's not gonna happen. So once I go E85, I just ordered my tune right now for E85. Um, I'll do a pull for you guys and I'll show you like the difference on my opinion of the power and all that. So right now, this is the end of the vlog. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what I should do next for future vlogs. Thank you.